Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Band Practice. I'm Emma. And I'm Madison. And today we're going to be doing an episode all about summer. We're going to kind of bounce around a little bit. We're doing like our themes, our trend predictions, our bucket list, just everything for summer coming up because it's that time of year, baby. It sure is. We're like almost, we're, we're rounding out with May already. That is I know. wild. It didn't even hit me. I feel like because... I lived in Arizona my whole life and I feel like summer smacks you in the face. Like it just gets so hot that you're like, yeah, it's summer. There's no question about it. But here it's been like rainy and like not summery at all. But then we went to Texas last week for a graduation and I was like, oh my God, the kids are on summer break. Like it's summer vacation. And it was a really crazy realization. I know someone at work was talking about um, uh, Memorial Day and like our day off and I was like oh that's in like two weeks mm-hmm. very excited to for a three-day weekend but I uh, just cannot believe it I know I'll be in town did you know I'll be in Arizona oh she will that's <laughs> right I knew I had something going on so, well do you want to address your raspy sexy yeah words? I know I probably sound a little different a little seductive no I just was I've been crazily ill the last actual week it's been i don't know what it was i tested myself for covid three times because i there i was just like no i swear like i (laughs) was eating a cough drop this morning and i was like i can't taste this i like got scared um yeah very freaky um but i think it was just like the flu or maybe i got strep or something i'm not sure i'm like afraid of going to the doctor so i really was just fending for myself but finally coming out of it My throat's still sore and dry, so I sound a little different, so I apologize, but we're powering through this episode because nothing can stop us from delivering you all your band practice on a weekly, consistent basis. Absolutely. We thought we were going to have to cancel it or like upload late this week, and Emma really took one for the team, and we're recording this last minute and getting it up. This needs to be up in like six hours. (laughs) Yeah, you guys are really getting us live today because we're recording this like literally six hours before it goes up. (laughs) Well, other than that, have you done anything anything fun or just kind of been resting? I've really just been resting. I mean, gosh, been uh, rewatching Gossip Girl and Sex in the City, some fun New York shows. It's making me want to go to New York on vacation. Mm Mm-hmm. That's kind of, I mean, that's actually just all I've been doing the last week. And so <laughs> that's it for me, but what about you? Um, I'm trying to think because we pre-recorded the last episode and now this one's so last minute that we literally haven't recorded for like two oh, weeks. Right. I'm like, oh, I got my hair done. Yeah, I dyed it like a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter for the, for the spring, for the summer. And I love it. Um... Like I said, I went to Texas. That was fun. We went to Bucky's, which was the highlight of the trip. And yeah, we have friends in town this weekend. And then I'm coming to Arizona the next weekend. So, you know. Ooh, I can't like go high. It just like doesn't come out. Oh my goodness. You poor thing. Anyway, I know. Yeah. Like, oh, guys, I'm really suffering. Like, Please make sure pity you tell me. Pity me. <laughs> tell, tell me to get well soon, everybody. <laughs> Texas, it, it's it's a culture shock, but like so fun I know it was a little bit yeah it was a little bit of a culture shock because we went to like I said the graduation but it was his little cousin's like dance like last dance Mm. of the year because she was on the dance team and just seeing like the fashion the vibes the like literally we went to go pick up food and she was like hi y'all like what name is (laughs) y'all like what what name is y'all's order under like she said y'all like 10 times in one sentence and I was like it's real like this is actually just how they speak it's so cute i'm obsessed i love that hey y'all hey (laughs) y'all yeah but i did just work and then got stuck in an hour of traffic right after the kid had explosive diarrhea so you know it's it's been a doozy of a day and now we're here (laughs) it's a whirlwind wow (laughs) yeah should we just like Maybe touch on like the sun situation just for a second, since I know we we talk about that every now and then. Maybe just like conclude the season as we did lose, um, unfortunately, mm-hmm. to the Denver Nuggets. 
Um, and so now we're out of the out of the playoffs, and now we gotta wait for next season. Yeah, and our coach is fired. No, oh, <laughs> please. I love Monty Williams. Like I genuinely had like a crush on him in some weird <laughs> way. Like I don't even know. I just like adored that man. And then yeah, hearing that they literally fired him, like one of the best coaches in the entire NBA. They're like, no, it's not doing it for us anymore. Mm-hmm. But whatever. I feel like I don't know who makes that decision, the owner or the team, or if it's like a combination of both. But mm-hmm. I feel like Monty was gaslit because it's not your fault as a coach if your team loses. Like it is to an extent, but at the end of the right. day, like he's not the one playing the game. Like yeah. he can tell you what to do all day long and you're the one that has to do it. Like it, I just truly am on his side and I don't think it was his fault. Me too. No, like what you're saying, like if you're missing the baskets, like that's not on my man. So no, literally. Yeah. It's been a brutal loss living in Denver because obviously everybody is Nuggets fans. Oh, right. And it's just, man, it was a bummer. Are you drinking? Oh, oh yeah. I forgot. I was about to just hop into the episode. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm consuming a few different things right now. I wanted to share this with all of you. I have some cough drops, but these are so delicious. It's the Halls brand, the classic, but it's honey vanilla. And it's just like the most delicious little candy. Like I'm just chomping on these all day and I just love it. So I have that. And then Madison, I'm very excited that I located this special drink. I found the poppy (gasps) cherry limeade. Let's go. I need a review. How do you like it? I love it. I've already had one. Um, I'll take another <laughs> sip. It's truly the – it's like the least prebiotic tasting soda. And I think you said that too. Like it uh-huh. just tastes like a good cherry limeade soda. I love yeah. it. Yeah. It doesn't have like the after- aftertaste of like artificial sugar, prebiotic yeah. or anything, anything funky. It's just good. Yeah, exactly. And then I've got my Stanley – um, with some water. I will say I've never drank so much water in my life after being this sick, like at least like a gallon a day. And I really hope I stick to that habit because I was not a good water drinker before, but this is a new me. Wow. I love it. You're, you're finding the positive in the, um, in the storm. Yes. I'm so brave. <laughs> I'm drinking. Like I said, I just got home and I just looked in my fridge and I was like, give me something. I didn't even know yeah. what was going to be in there. But I found a kombucha, a ginger kombucha, which is like my nice. favorite kombucha flavor. So that was a pleasant surprise. And it's really good. It's the brand Better Booch, which is my favorite. Love and it. it's ginger, mint, and lemongrass. Very refreshing. I love it. Sounds good. I love that. Nothing like a little booch, post-work booch. Mm-hmm. Just something Dude. to take the edge off. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I do want to kind of like experiment with cocktails this summer. I didn't even write that down, but I guess this could be a a little segue, but I want to try and make some fun cocktails this summer. And I feel like there's got to be some good recipes with kombucha. And you can buy hard kombucha too, but that could be like a fun ingredient. I want, I wish I was in my, um, I was going to say barista, my bartender era. Like I just want to be like shaking the drinks in the shaker and like pouring them, like making them cute with a little garnish. I think that will have to be a summer vibe. I agree. I actually ordered some um, lemon drop sugar to like rim mm. my drinks. I just ordered some <gasps> off Amazon. I'm very excited because that's like my favorite drink to order is a lemon drop and it's very easy to make at home. So I think that's going to be my vibe. Yum. Wait, I, I'm i so stupid when it comes to alcohol. I don't even know what alcohol or what is in it's, that. I think it's literally <laughs> – at the risk of sounding stupid, let me do a Google <laughs> – So I know you can do like lemon drop shots or like a kind of martini version. I do like the martini version, but Mm -hmm. yeah, it's uh, lemon juice, triple sec, simple syrup, and then like vodka. I don't know if the triple sec is really necessary. I normally just do like lemon juice, vodka, and a simple syrup and call it a day. But I also ordered some, yeah, I also ordered some raspberry syrup to make it a Mm -hmm. raspberry lemon drop. And I'm just really excited. And I... We'll have to have one on one of the next upcoming episodes because I know you'll all be dying to to hear how it goes. <laughs> no, that sounds so yummy. You're truly inspiring me. And also, I feel like with the raspberry syrup, you could like, 
I'm trying to think of what you could mix with what, but I feel like if you did the lemon juice with the vodka and then mm-hmm. put the raspberry syrup on top, you could make it like really pretty and layered. Ooh, like, that could be ooh, cute. I love a layered drink. I just, I, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> I like the way you think. Yeah. You know, I'll do anything for a cute Instagram picture. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll just get started with our our themes and our trend predictions or trends that we're hopping on for the summer. My first one, yeah, I wanted to start with this one because I don't know if I'll be hopping on it, but I have seen a lot of it. Intensely, like intensely ugly jorts to the point where like they are so big and large and like almost down to your calves. Like, have you been seeing the girlies on TikTok with these? Oh, yeah. 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 Like a huge like it, if well ben actually has some shorts like this because it's like it was a skater boy thing last summer now it's a girly thing this summer i might try them on and just see That's, what they look like that needs to be studied i feel like the skater boys start the trends they, and then they it do diffuses from there even if you think about like baggy pants which like now yeah. everybody wears baggy pants that started like years ago with the skater boys yeah absolutely yeah but will you be hopping on this Have, do you have any thoughts I see what's difficult is like when you catch a trend so early, it's like, where do I buy it? Like, I guess I just have to try and thrift them. And like, I'm worried I, I if I could find the right pair, I totally would. But mm-hmm. I think I'm just like, like I was at the mall recently and there was a lot of like cargo shorts, but none to like the extent of the trend that you're talking about, like Bermuda baggy, like, mm-hmm. but I do think it's cute on the girls that, that choose to rock it. Mm -hmm. me too that is so true I feel like I have the mental um like I mentally note trends very early like once I see them I'm like oh okay like right that's gonna be trending you know Mm -hmm. but then I always feel like I'm physically late to the trends because I cannot find the trending item until it's already trending which is so irritating yeah it's like my ego, like I want to prove that like I saw it before it was cool, you know, but mm-hmm. it's just hard to find. I guess you just have to be, I think at that point, like a really good thrifter, vintage shopper. I've been trying to be on my Depop grind because I feel mm. like I find really good things on Depop when I'm like looking for specific things, but it's like I have it pinned on my Pinterest six months before I can even find it on Depop. It's like right. the most frustrating I was going to say the most frustrating aspect of my life, but I'll get off my high <laughs> for a second. Okay. Um, my next trend, or my first trend, I guess, is also a type of short um, that I keep seeing on like Pinterest and just cutie girls. But this is actually easy to find, is wearing men's boxers as shorts. So I started wearing men's boxer briefs to sleep actually a few years ago. And that's like a staple for me. Like I even found like my brand that I like and love. But now I'm seeing like like the plaid kind of like loose actual boxers. Girlies are wearing them like out on the streets with just like a plain t-shirt, some little sneakers, and it's really cute. So I that's kind of a trend I want to hop on this year is find some kind of oversized plaid boxers and find like a cute, relaxed, yet styled way to wear them. I was thinking about where this could have... <laughs> Wait, what is the word? Originated. Okay. I was thinking about where this could have originated, and I feel like it started with the Skims boxer brief. Right. And then Bella Hadid took it further into just like the bo- the like infamous picture of her with the boxers and like the platform yep. hugs that people either loved or hated. And I think, yeah, I think it would be cool to take it from the briefs to like the true comfy boxer. Yeah. Nice and roomy. Yeah. I love it. But but get your own. You don't need to borrow any stinky no. boys. Please do not. Um, my next one, I embody this all the time, but I'm going to start being an advocate for others. Normalize not working. And by that, I mean, keep your job for sure. But well, I mean, that's up to you. Quit if you want. But okay. Anyways, use and abuse your vacation time, your PTO, your sick time. If you are at a job where you get any, like, allocated days that you can take off, I don't understand when people, like, don't use it. I'm like, well, 
especially if it doesn't like roll over to the next year i'm like you could have had a week off why didn't you right. take a vacation or at least just like take the time off and like do a little staycation or just like relax i don't know i feel like the summer is a good time to utilize your vacation time as you should amen i sorry let me just chew this real quick. <laughs> i stand by this I am an avid believer in using any sort of paid time off that you get because, like, you earned that. It's not mm-hmm. like – well, it is a luxury and, like, a privilege to have that, but, like, you're supposed to use it. Like, that's what it's there for. Like, I don't know. I know there's some jobs where people, like, get, like, afraid to use it, but, like, oh, my gosh, if there's one thing I'm going to do, it's going to be take time off or a call in sick. So, um, obviously, like, also use it kind- – not like a little wisely always have just like a, an extra day or two left behind just in case for emergencies but absolutely use that even if like this summer you don't have like a trip planned give yourself a, a few three-day weekends go do something around town or, or just like relax at home like just take some time for yourself because it's worth it and use the time while you have it I guess my last boss I had she was so great. She every now and then would be like, "You got any vacations coming up? Like you haven't taken time off in a while. Like you go, you need to go do something." And I was like, "Oh my god, you're so right. I do." And I just love that energy. And I think more bosses should have that energy. Yeah. Even uh, literally yesterday, the family that I nanny for, they are going on a vacation, so they told me the days that they'll be gone. And then she was like do you have any trips for the summer? Like, do you need to switch any days around or like take any days off? Let me know. Like it's the summertime. Like we're so flexible. I was like, wow, that's so nice. I was like, I will be booking something now that you right. mention it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a random little um theme for my summer to throw in here for food. Okay. There's something about the warm weather that I'm just like craving a sandwich and like fresh fruit, specifically watermelon. Mm-hmm. I eat mm-hmm. so much watermelon every week. Like I get some every time I grocery shop and then I finish it in two days and then I like go back and get some more. Like I cannot have enough of it. And then yeah, a good sandwich. And I keep seeing people try different like sandwich recipes on TikTok and I kind of want to experiment with that this summer. When I was little or like s- like when you're little and it's summer vacation and you're swimming in the pool mm-hmm. and like your parent or like your friend's parent, if you're at their house, will bring you out like literally either a sandwich and like chips or like a bowl of fruit oh and it just hit so different like yes I feel like that would be very healing and nostalgic to just have a good sandwich and a bowl of fruit like when you're laying out in the sun Ooh, sounds so good there's nothing better so pure my next one is a fashion one as well which I really like and I've been noticing more and more I feel like we're kind of moving away from like a clean aesthetic or just in Mm -hmm. general, like having to stick to one aesthetic um, with your clothes or your hair and makeup or just like how you present yourself. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of like mismatch style and that like this would be an example of an outfit, like really baggy, almost masculine pants, Mm -hmm. but then like braid your hair with like pink bows in it. Like... Is yes. it girly? Is it boyish? Nobody nobody even knows what's going on anymore. And I feel like that's just such a good example. Like you don't have to stick to one specific aesthetic or like put yourself in a box. You can mix and match and have fun. Totally. No, I think that's so cute. I actually need to get some hair bows or I guess just go buy ribbon somewhere. But I think that little bow thing is so cute. And I, yeah, I love like the juxtaposition of like, just like, having a more eclectic style I think is so cute yeah I bought um pink ribbons to put in my Adidas Sambas I posted on TikTok Mm -hmm. like I use them as my little shoelaces and then I just had a bunch left over so I'll like put them in my hair like just tie them on random I put some on my headphones at one point and every time I post with something in it people will comment and be like where did you buy these ribbons or like where did you get these ribbons I'm like this is a roll of ribbon from Michael's babe like go to your craft store But I love it. No, it's a very cheap, accessible trend. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I, th- I think it's funny. Like, I think I see stores selling like hair ribbons and stuff. And it's like, and that's just blasphemy to me. Like, you can mm-hmm. buy a whole like 10 yards of ribbon for like a dollar and choose any color and length and width you want. 
So. I literally saw on Urban Outfitters they had like lacy black uh, hair bows, just ribbon that you tie into a bow, and it was probably like twenty dollars or something. I don't remember. That's just and I'm wild. like, please. But then the other day I was getting breakfast at this place, which tragically shut down like the following week. It was my favorite wow. breakfast place by my house, and every barista or server in there was a baddie like they were all so cute and this girl had like really long hair and she had black lacy ribbon like tied in little pigtails and that really spoke to me I think I'm gonna get some like black lace lace that's a good I like that Mm -hmm. very cute I'm interested I like it my next trend is just going natural I'm talking like my nails more natural makeup wearing my natural hair, just like keeping it very simple and light and minimal for the summer in terms of like maintenance things. Like I have my natural nails now and I'm like learning to really like them and I don't feel like FOMO with having acrylics anymore and I'm just like super stoked about it. But I don't know. There's just something about like your natural glow in the summer. That's just like, it's just it. It's better than like my winter beat, you know? Mm-hmm. My summer baseline is so much better than my winter peak. Like the winter uglies are just so real Truly. and it's so irritating. But I feel like in the summer, we've talked about this in episodes past, but like doing things that make you low maintenance that are high maintenance, you know, at the start, like tinting right. your eyebrows or like if you just tint your eyebrows, your lashes, really be on top of your skincare and like have a good lip gloss. That's the summer look, babe. Like that's all. Yeah. That's all you need. Amen. Lay out in the sun, get a little, get a little sun kiss, maybe a little freckle pop through. Yeah, and cute. that's it. That's what you need to do. There's just something about it. My next one also has to do with traveling, but I had this realization in Texas: um, day trips and weekend trips. Like, not everything has to be this big, planned out. Like, take time off for work. Like, I feel like, uh, well, part of Ben's family lives in Arizona. We live in Colorado, and then. Another part of his family lives in Texas. So I feel like to get us all together, it it used to be like we had to plan it like a year in advance, plan a week, like rent a house, go somewhere, make it a destination. And then we all just met up for a weekend and we were like, oh, we should do this more often. Like it really doesn't have to be this big thing. We can just like, you know, hang out for a couple of days and nobody has to take time off or like same with like day trips, especially because we just moved to Colorado. I want to like there's so many places that I want to explore and I'm like oh I need to you know take time to figure out where I want to go and like what days I want to go and I'm like that's like an hour away I could just drive there for the day like it really doesn't have to be that big of a thing um so I'm gonna be utilizing my weekends and my days off and doing fun stuff because you know why not I love that I'm supporting that and I I hope to do the same too Love that. Come on down for a weekend. You want to come on down? Come on down. Oh, I will. (laughs) Also, I feel like a really big trend lately has been the coastal cowgirl vibe, the cottage core vibe. And I'm hoping that these girlies who are preaching this are legit and really like practice what they preach this summer. And I feel like this this will be a summer, in my opinion. I see this happening for a lot of people. Um, of like living in real life. And like, like I said, in our two episodes ago, my screen time is heinous. Um, so I'm speaking to myself, we need to we need to stop doing that. We need to go touch some grass. I feel like we should be going on picnics, we should be going to the beach and leaving our phone in the car. We should be literally frolicking in a meadow. Like if we want to be coastal cowgirls, let's practice what we preach. Let's walk the walk and talk the talk. I love that. I know I wanted to echo off of this and just say like having like finding a fun outdoor hobby for the summer. Like I feel like that's so important and so fun. Pretty difficult here in Phoenix. Like I don't know that that's safe, but um, like the thought is there and most places around the world you can probably um, do something in the summer outside. But like hiking and like you said, picnics or like doing lake days or like, I don't know, just going outside is is like having fun little adventures. Like that's always the best. Mm-hmm. Or something I want to do this summer too is riding bikes because Ben and I have bikes and we have not ridden them recently and there is no excuse for that. Like we need to be having yeah. little bike rides and doing fun stuff. Like I feel like, again, that's just a nostalgic summer vibe, like going on a fun bike ride. Totally. 
I was even thinking like even just taking like small hobbies that you like and just doing them outside. Like you can read outside. Mm -hmm. Heck, you can watch TikToks outside. Let's just get get a little bit of vitamin D safely. Mm -hmm. I also feel like the only reason I survived last summer in Arizona was just doing things in water. Like we swam so much. And at our apartment, there was like a little basketball hoop. I've been in my basketball era now that I think about it. There was like a little (laughs) basketball hoop by the pool. And I would go out there every day and shoot some hoops. Like that was literally, yeah, that was my summer activity because you really do. I'm going to talk about this later on, but the reverse seasonal depression in Arizona, it's real. So you, Mm -hmm. you do need to find things that you can safely do outside without passing out. Yeah. Yeah. That reminds me of like one time I was going tubing with my friends and I didn't realize that we brought tubes that hadn't been inflated yet. So we're Mm -hmm. like in this asphalt parking lot trying to like pump up these tubes, some by mouth. And I was like, no, like we're going to have to call 911. I'm going to be dead in like two minutes. But then by the time we were on the water, I was like, this is fine. Like this is perfect. Yeah. So yeah, water is key down, down in these parts. It really is. Did you? Are you talking about the Salt River or whatever it's called? Yeah, yeah. We did that last summer too. It's actually so fun. It's so fun. I love it. I'll have to see with all of like the rain and snow that um, we got this winter. The water is like flowing in the mm. valley. Like it's dangerous. So I'll I'll have to check and see when when they're opening up the river and the lake because I'd love to go. Yeah, last summer it was like a a lazy river. Like we were barely moving. Yeah. I was kind of wishing for some like some raging rapids. Some rapids. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, I love that. It's like I said, it's been raining a lot here, and we live right by a river. It was overflowing, like raging, raging rapids, and people were bringing their kayaks out and like kayaking <laughs> on wow. the. Wow. I was like, this is such a Colorado activity. Like these white people are crazy. That is so funny. <laughs> I remember the only time I've been to Colorado so far in my life. <laughs> until later this summer Mm -hmm. uh, was for church camp in high school good old Durango and I remember we went whitewater rafting and that ish was nuts I remember my friend was flew off multiple times and she just looked like traumatized it was freezing cold so scary sometimes like I don't want to be in the water but give me a little fun bump Yeah, I want it to be like a controlled Disneyland ride. Like no actual danger, but just like the thrill of it. (laughs) I don't want to be thrown off, but I want to like have to hold on a little tight. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. We'll we'll, we'll see if that's on the in the cards for us this summer. Should we get into our our bucket list, our checklist for the summer? Yes, ma'am. So my first one um, is I need to find some sort of farmer's market to go to because I remembered that in Phoenix, they close for the summer. But it's funny because back in Flagstaff, where I used to live, they were only open in the summer. Mm -hmm. So I'm just a little backwards and I'll probably have to just like leave the valley and go up north to go to a farmer's market or I'll go with you when I visit you. Mm -hmm. But I just – that was like my favorite thing to do in the summer when I lived in Flagstaff. Um, So I just miss that. And it's so fun to like support local businesses and farmers and bakers. Oh, You can always find the best bread. But Mm -hmm. I love a farmer's market moment, so hopefully I can find somewhere to go. I love the farmer's market and very exciting news. They just opened last weekend in Denver and I missed it because I didn't realize until the day after, but there's like two within less than a mile of me. So I will be walking Mm -hmm. to the farmer's market all summer Nice. And also if I remember right, because I was... I was like super into going to the farmer's market right before we moved. And then we moved here and they were all closed for the winter. But the uptown like Phoenix farmer's market, I think is open in the summer, just like early hour mornings, like 7 to 10 or something. So you have to get up early. But that one's really cute. I really like it. Hell yeah. Love a farmer's market. Definitely a summer vibe. I'll be looking into it. Yes, absolutely. My next one is, this is funny because I'm in a landlocked state. But um, I want to go to the beach and swim in the ocean, like fully swimming. I have been working up my nerve for the past couple summers because I was like deathly afraid of the ocean for a long time. So I started with like, you know, just like dipping my toes in. And then um, I think the last two summers I've like swam in it, but still with the fear of God of like being attacked Mm, by a shark in the back of my mind. So I couldn't fully enjoy it. 
But I think I'm finally ready this summer to like be in my mermaid era and swim in the ocean and actually enjoy it. And I did just book a trip to California. So that might be coming soon. I love that. Um, If I join you, I will potentially also join you in the water. But I am also very afraid of the ocean. But I'd love to fight the fear a little bit. Um, Maybe I'll go up to like my waist and then I'll just like swim very shallowly. How about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's good. (laughs) Uh, I think it was two summers ago. Dom and I went to Santa Barbara and we swam in the ocean. I something just possessed us. I don't think we were even planning on swimming in the ocean, but then we went in and we said the same thing. We were like, let's just go to like our waist. Like, let's just see what it's like. Yeah. And then we just like dove into it. It was so fun. We went like way Aww. further than we thought. And that's like the closest I've been to fully enjoying it. Last summer we were in Texas and I did Google like shark attacks in the area before and they were plentiful. So I was not able to oh. enjoy myself. I forgot about sharks for a second there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but let's forget about them a little longer and let's just yeah. be delusional and swim in the ocean. It's time. I love it. My next bucket list item is to do a staycation at a local resort. I was talking about this with one of my friends and it reminded me that Madison and I went with one of our um, yeah. older internet friends a few years, like more than a few years back, but <laughs> it's like so fun, especially in Arizona. Like there's just a lot of like resorts and then they get like really slow during the summer because obviously it's hot, as I've said like a million times. <laughs> um, but like they're cheaper and like they have the nicest pools, cabanas, like bars, grills, restaurants, spas. I just think it would be fun to do like a little weekend at a, at a resort. There's so many good resorts in Arizona and the summer rates are so good. Ben and I had a little staycation last (laughs) um, summer and it's just so fun to like utilize the pool and you can like get snacks by the pool. There was like a really fun game room at this one, which like it probably was for children, but like we just went over there and played some ping pong. It was like a beautiful staycation and they have the best spas if you want to like, you know, get a little massage or a facial while you're there. Yeah. You could really live it up. Amen. Also, even just like I I actually just saw somebody post about that and or post about this and that's why it's on my mind. You can go to – well, you might have to sneak in in some places. Well, no. if I guess if you book a service at a spa at a resort, you can just go to the pool for the day. Like, yeah, you know, some, you don't even have to stay even, the night. Yeah. Some even just sell like a day pass for like their little pool water park, you know. Mm-hmm. Definitely worth it. Yeah. So fun. Okay, my next one is camping with friends. The main issue with this one is that I don't have any friends. Um, So I might have to mooch off of Ben's friends or do this in Arizona. And maybe we could do it together since we're camping gals. Um, But last year we did, we camped, (laughs) comped, we (laughs) camped with friends a couple different times. And it's so fun and it's such a bonding experience to do with like other people because you're just sitting around the fire. You're not on your phone. You're talking. Um, we went for like one of Ben's friends birthdays, I think, and all the girlfriends came with and we just like lived it up. It was so fun. We saw some deer. It was amazing. I love that. Uh, I'm just picturing you and I like in a tent at night, like we're both just like, they're trying to fall asleep giggling. Like, oh my God, I want to go. It's so fun. Uh, maybe I'll have to come on down and we can use my roof tent. Yes, 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 please. It's so fun. Yeah, that's going to have to happen. Roast some marshmallows. Yeah. Like, it's just oh. such – it's such a summer vibe. S'mores are, like, my favorite food ever, so mm-hmm. please. All right. We have to make this a plan. It is on our bucket Sold. list, so. <laughs> yeah. We got to check that baby off. Oh, yeah. My next one is to bake a beautiful cake. And I'm inspired by the Whole Foods Berry Chantilly cake. I mean, I just have been obsessed with that ever since it, like, blew up on TikTok. But I think I could definitely make it. Like, it's just like an almond cake with a layer of, like, fresh berries and just, like, a nice fluffy whipped cream. Seems simple enough. I'd I'd love to make one and, like, make it all cute and pretty. Maybe do some, like, fun little icings or – I don't know. I just want to, like, thoroughly bake something from scratch that's, like, really pretty and that I'm proud of. I'm talking like tears and all the things. That specific cake I've never had, but the you told me about the they made it into an ice cream, like an almond Uh milk ice cream. Oh my god, it's so good! It's so good. 
it's just like just enough. Like it's not doing too much. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's like sweet, but not overly sweet. Like yeah. because it has the fresh aspect of the fruit. It's it's wonderful. Delightful. I recommend to everyone head up the Whole Foods for the berry, chantilly, cake, or ice cream. Love it. That's our sponsor of today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you whole foods thank you whole foods we're like thank you jeff bezos <laughs> i'm dead okay i'll just touch on this one because we have talked about this a lot but i'm just so looking forward to being released from the shackles of reverse seasonal depression because it truly like i never have been super excited for summer living in I lived in arizona for almost every summer of my life and it's just like i dreaded it every time it was coming around And I love the vibe of summer and like (laughs) summer in theory, but like actual Mm. summer I never loved because I guess I just didn't take advantage of the right things. Like we said, you have to do stuff in water and you have to like, you know, kind of pick and choose what you can do. But it always made me a depression. So I'm looking forward to, yeah, being able to be outside and like explore new areas and live it up. Um, My next one is I want to try and see a movie at the theater like every week. That's like my favoriteest thing to do ever is go to the movies. I love it. I have like the popcorn rewards at Harkins where I get free popcorn. Like that's one of my also also one of my favorite foods. I've got my cups. Like I just love the movies, especially in the summer. Like it's so crisp and cold in there and dark and it's just ah, so good. So I would love to just go see one every week whether it's with Brandon or Laura or you when you visit, or even by myself. I'm a big advocate for taking yourself on movie dates. It's actually so fun. Dare I say more fun than when you're with (laughs) other people? Because you can truly see any movie you want. You don't have to worry about how the other person is like enjoying it. There's just something about it. But anyways, yeah, I want to like really go see some movies this summer. I feel like that is my childhood in a nutshell, like getting the popcorn at the movie. My mom loves movie theater popcorn, so we'd always get popcorn. Like you said, it's so cold in there and then you walk out and it's like the only time that the Arizona heat feels a little good. Every sense of the movie theater, like the smell, the taste, the the crisp Uh. air, it's just so vivid to me from my childhood. I love it. I should go to the movies more often. That sounds so fun. Yeah. I was also going to say, I've been to a couple movies by myself and they were more fun. Like, why is it so... Yeah, literally. It's such a fun... It's so fun. ...experience to do by yourself. And it's dark it's in so there. Freeing. Like, nobody even is looking at you. Like, nobody cares that yeah. you're alone. You have your fun little snacks and you can just, like, fully be immersed in the movie. Yeah. And if it's a comedy, like, I'm cackling harder. It's just... Free- it's so freeing. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Like, they don't know that you're cackling by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> literally <laughs> i'll end it off with a bang this is my last one mm-hmm. which i did for the first time i think last summer um go on a jet ski why is that the most fun most luxurious thing i can think of we literally went in i think it's called lake pleasant or something in arizona it's like mm-hmm. not a bougie area i felt bougie i felt like a Kardashian in bora bora and i was going so fast me and ben were on the same one and he was like putt-putting around i was like let me take the wheel like let me hop in front real quick and I skirted like it was so fun pedal to the metal it was amazing like the wind in your hair the water I oh it was so fun I love that I went jet skiing for the first time last summer too at um like Powell another one of the big lakes here I I was pulling a pen I was I was personally very afraid. I just like everyone was like, no, you got to try. And I was like, okay, like I'll try something once. But it's just I'm afraid of all body, big bodies of water. I'm I don't know the thought of like when you go really fast, it actually is like smoother. Mm -hmm. But I was afraid to go fast. I was going like slower and it was just like jostling me around (laughs) a little too much. And I was like, actually, this is not for me. I did like one little lap and was like, all right, I'm parking it at the at the beach. I'm done. Yeah, I felt that way when he was going slow because you get a little a little seasick, like it's too yeah. bumpy. You're, hitting You're like the waves moving too with much. the waves. Yeah, so mm-hmm. then I just went super fast and I have never felt more free around a body of water. Yeah. Like I said, I have a lot of water anxiety, but that was the only yeah. time I felt like this is this is for me. This is amazing. 
Maybe you'll just have so to hop on the back you. of mine. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. I was like, I'm just going to hop on the back of yours because I trust you. And I think, yeah, I just need to be with someone that's like, yeah, not going to be afraid of it. Mm-hmm. Have you ever gone kayaking? Uh, I actually don't think I have. You were in your kayaking I, era, right? Oh, Last yeah. Summer? My dad yeah. has a few, actually. It's really fun. That's like my dad and I's favorite thing to do together. Very cute and um, wholesome. But I love to kayak. No, that sounds fun. Maybe I'll have to hop on the back of your kayak. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're so cute. We got an X Games mode. No, really? Like, we, it's turning out we have a booked summer. <laughs> we have a lot we to do. do. We're busy. Please do not ask me if I'm free. I'm not. No, I'm not. I will be on jet skiing. I will be jet skiing and I will be on a trip every weekend and I will also be at the farmer's market somehow. So don't text, don't call. I'm busy. (laughs) I'm weak. I love this episode. This was so fun. Now I'm actually like super excited for summer. I was like kind of dreading it just a little bit, but I'm this could be good. Yeah, we're romanticizing the heat. It'll be fun. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you got to do. This was such a fun episode. I don't know whose idea this was, but whoever whoever his idea it was, they slayed. Whoop, woof. <laughs> well, thank you guys for listening. As always, yeah. I'm glad we could pull some strings and record this last minute yeah. because I was devastated to let you guys down. I I Me knew too. that you guys was, would be was, devastated. I was tossing and tur- turning, losing sleep. I was like, <laughs> it must be done. I will just, I will push through. I know I can do it. Mm-hmm. Thank you for pushing through and you're showcasing your raspy voice. Always, always. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode or just enjoy our podcast, make sure to leave a like or comment on YouTube or leave a rating or review on any streaming platform that you're listening on. And if you want to keep up with us um, individually or on our band practice socials, they're linked in the show notes. You can follow us at bandpractice.podcast. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for closing us out. We love you guys. We hope you have an amazing summer. Maybe make a little bucket list. Like hopefully this yeah. inspired you to, you know, get some fun activities in the works. And yeah, I just I hope we're all ready for a hot girl summer. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye. Bye.